morning. Good afternoon. Good morning. How are you, Mark? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yes, this is great. So we have what do we have? A movie going on or, or a, a TV thing going on? What are, what are you gonna be doing? Well, I have manifested myself quite an experience. I'm going to be um, producing a movie with Pierce Brosnan and Morgan Freeman, and we start next week. So oh, um, we're in production. It's exciting. It's be fun. In California during, uh, it wasn't California, Florida. In Florida during breakfast. That wasn't what was going on then, was it? Well, that's a different project. Um, no, that was a different one. I got quite a few things going on. So uh, I'm excited. It's fun. I'm in a past bronze, and that's awesome. So Gail is going to, uh, this is perfect. Gail is going to be talking about program yourself to success. This is all this young lady has been doing as programming her life to success. She has story after story after story after story. So why does success and abundance come so easily for some people, not for others? A life blueprint is programmed to experience success very easily or experience difficulties in life. And just go get them, Gail. Listen to Gail, every word. Right hey, again. how is everybody? Okay, so uh, what we're talking about manifesting things, you know, we manifest everything in our life. So if you're in a place and things are, uh, you've got difficulties going on, problems going on, we actually manifest these things, right? So it, that is not always uh, a bad thing. You know, we manifest difficult situations in order to uh, process and learn from it. So we're, we're experiencing. So sometimes we're telling the universe, hey, we want to experience uh, this problem or that problem because we want to grow. So when you say, oh, I want spiritual enlightenment, be careful what you ask for because that can be some of the most difficult lessons. So when we go through these, problems with relationships or with finances or business or uh, whatever it is, you know, you're also going through a learning experience. So the idea is to be able to absorb whatever lesson you're supposed to learn from that quickly and kind of roll with the punches. And, and you know, we're going to have these things come up, but to solve them easily and more of the fun things in our life, to manifest more of the the fun things that we want. So when you look at your life and you say, oh, I don't like this area or I have a problem here, you send yourself a little blessing and say, okay, I know that I manifested that for a reason. So uh, I'm going to manifest the solution to that issue. And we're going to get through that quickly. And I'm going to learn whatever it is I'm supposed to learn from that. Because whatever we think, whatever we put out to the universe, wherever we direct our energy is what appears in our universe. So whatever is going on in your life right now is an accumulation of all your thoughts and your feelings that you've had for many years up to this point. So do you want to say, you want to change your energy right now? You want to change it up? You want to manifest some amazing things in your life? Let's just ask right now, what it is that you would like to change right now in your life? So is this some area of your life you feel stuck? You'd like to accelerate that. Um, something, some difficulty that you'd like to get through um, or something you've been dreaming you want to do, but you have not got there yet. So I want you just to kind of set in your mind, what is your intention? And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to work on you energetically. So we're going to spend this half an hour. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to actually work on you. Um, I know we're at a distance, but this works. And even if you're watching it later and it's recorded, this works. So first I want you just to set in your mind something that you would like to change, something, some area of your life that you want to switch up the energy. So just for a second, think about that. Could be um, energy in your family, could be um, some healing that you want, something physical you want to change because you can work on physical things as well. Um, or something in your romantic relationships or your finances. So just, just put out right now, just think about what it is that you'd really like to switch and change that up. So just take a second to think about that. And we're just going to put that out to the universe. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to work on clearing off your energy today. Because we are little manifesting sparks, you know, we go out there and we draw manifest all the things to us that we are putting out and we're saying I want to bring that in. And when we put that out in a very positive way, and we're thinking about that putting our energy there, we're like little manifesting beacons. And that comes to us. So if it's not coming to you, it's not that you're not able to manifest. What you're doing is 
you're blocking something coming. So how many times you had where, well, I need, I'd like to do this and uh, maybe the money comes or the opportunity comes, the job interview comes and it's really close. And then for some reason you don't get it. Uh, you get the money, but then you get bills and it's all gone. Or you, you thought you had that job and it was almost there, but for some reason it fell through. Right. So what's happening is you're able to manifest the things, but when it comes close to your energy field, there's some part of you that says, oh, I don't deserve this. Like, I'd like to have that new car. I'd like to have that new job. I really want to see this. And it comes to you. And then when it gets close, it's something in your energy field that says, oh, no, no, I can't afford that. I don't deserve that. Um, oh, that's only for other people. I don't get to experience that. And so you're actually pushing it away. So, so many times things are almost to us and then it's actually ourselves, we sabotage it ourselves. So what I want to work on today is clearing off our energy so that we can manifest things, so that we can be that natural um, beacon of light to bring in the beautiful, happy things that we want and to change up our energy so we're not creating or attracting negative things. So when we look at our energy field, you know, our body is solid, but our body is more than that. Our body is also layers and layers of energy. Our whole body, our physical body, even though it's physical, we know from science that it is really just atoms that are vibrating and it's 99.99999% space. It's just energy. That's what holds us together. And so we want to switch up the energy of our body. So I'm going to work on uh, different chakras of our body. So you're going to put out to the universe what energy area you want to change. And we're going to ask to remove any blocks, any issues that we might have, anything that is stopping us from doing that. So are you ready? Okay. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is get nice and relaxed. So you could be uh, sitting in the chair. Um, just don't cross your arms and your legs. Make sure that the energy can flow through you. And the first thing, I'm just going to put out a little prayer of protection. We're only working with beautiful divine beings. So I'm just asking to put a bubble of light all around you. And you can follow along with me and I'm gonna do this work on you. If you if you want me to just put out the universe that I am gonna do this work on you and to allow me to enter your energetic field from a distance to do any clearing. I'm only gonna work in the highest of goodness. So I'm gonna have a beautiful ball of white light around you. We're only inviting in beautiful divine beings, angels, higher guides and spirits that are from the white light that we are allowing to enter into our energy field and to help us to help to lift our vibration, to lift our vibration and to remove any negative things that are holding us back, cords, negative energy, negative thoughts and feelings, health issues, things that we're holding on to. So we're asking beautiful divine beings, angels all around us. You can think of angels above you, angels below you. Angel Michael, Angel Gabriel, Angel Raphael, Angel Uriel, angels all around you, protecting you. And whatever that, whatever that means to you. So just set that we're only working with beings in the highest of goodness. Now our energy comes down through our crown chakra and enters our body and comes down through chakras through our energy system. So just want you to envision that, that you've got that white light that comes down through your crown chakra. Go ahead and tap on your crown chakra and just Envision that beautiful, beautiful white light coming down through your crown chakra. Sometimes it's also seen as a purple light that comes through. This is your life force energy. So we're asking beautiful divine beings to power up and strengthen that energy that comes through us, that we're all part of this energy grid. So as this light comes through us, it's all around us. We're all connected energetically through this light grid and we're asking to power up our individual beam of light that comes down through us. Okay, so I'm gonna use some crystal meditation as we go through these different chakras. The first thing I wanna do is just remove any negative energy that is around us that we might've picked up from somebody else. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use actually, I'm gonna use a Dr. Vogel, which is a shape of this crystal. It's a Dr. Vogel crystal, and it is a smoky quartz crystal. So I'm just gonna hold that over my heart right now and I'm gonna ask for a clearing of energy. So I want to ask you at home just to be open, to remove any negative energy that's around you, any energy that's not yours, anybody, 
it's not serving you. Some of you have picked up energy from other people. So some of you, especially those natural healers, have picked up energy and have that energy around you. It's not yours. So this causes you tired and drained and all kinds of like health issues and allergies and just, you know, weird little things. So asking to remove that negative energy. I'm using my Dr. Vogel Smoky Crystal and I'm asking to remove that negative energy from anywhere in your aura, anybody's energy that's not serving you, any attachments or lower vibrational beings that are in your aura, we're asking to leave now. We're asking that to leave your energy field. And as you do that, I want you to just envision that your light is getting brighter and brighter and brighter. It's like you have this kind of cloud of energy around you of other people's stuff. I want you to see your, your energy aura growing bigger and bigger and bigger. Your aura is very thin when you have other people's energy on top of you. When we're asking to expand that energy field, so see that energy field getting wider, getting wider. So a foot, a foot away from your body and then stretching out to three feet away from your body. Let's see if we can stretch that energy out to six feet and even 10 feet out from you. See that energy field. And we're only allowing beautiful divine beings to come in that energy field. And we're asking to lift any attachments, any negative energy, anybody else's energy. So if there are any lower vibrational beings, we're asking them to leave now go the white light we're asking to remove anybody else's negative thoughts and feelings that may be causing you issues and as you do that hopefully yeah. you can feel that feel that those of you who are super sensitive may feel the energy some of you as i put these crystals over my heart you may actually feel and experience the different crystals so that was i used a smoky quartz that was for a clearing okay now we're going to work on the third eye i'm going to use a third eye stone. So I'm using a Siberian blue, any beautiful deep blue color. The reason I'm using a blue crystal is because your third eye is that indigo blue color. So it's a deep blue, very bright blue like this or a deep blue will work. So I'm gonna put this over my heart right now. And let's ask to open up our third eye. So I want you to concentrate on your third eye. If you like close your eyes and imagine that you're looking through your third eye. And often this is clouded. And this can be because we are afraid to see things. So sometimes we just kind of bury our head and we don't want to see things. Sometimes we have past life issues that affect our third eye. When, when our third eye is clouded, we have a hard time making decisions. We have a hard time seeing what, seeing our way or how we should get there. So perhaps you're stuck in your career or your relationship. You don't know where you're going. So let's ask to open up that third eye. And as we do, I'm asking to open up that energy of your third eye to remove anything that's clouding your third eye and to stretch out that energy. And you can see it as a deep indigo blue, getting more and more and more powerful, spreading out from your third eye, removing any negative energy from anything that has upset you, that making you not want to see. We're asking for clarity here. This is our clairvoyance center. This also helps us to see, it helps us have our physical eyesight as well. So we're asking to open that up. So we can just ask the energy as it comes down through our body to come out through our third eye and just see that third eye getting stronger and brighter and brighter, removing anything that is blocking you. May we see clearly with our third eye so we can manifest. So when we envision something, we visualize something, it comes to pass. And this helps us to visualize more clearly and to see it. So we're often given direction from the universe. We often ask for something, we manifest something, the opportunity is given to us and we don't notice it because we're not in tune, we're not seeing it. So we want to be able to see the doors that are open to us. So as we ask to manifest this thing, this thing that we want to change in our life, this thing, the energy in the area of our life we want to change, we now want to see that direction. We want to open up our third eye and see that direction and be able to see where we're going. Okay, so just feel that, concentrate and see if you can see that working on your third eye right now. Okay, so as we come down, I'm gonna now work on the throat chakra. So I'm kind of going in order. We did the third eye, it's nice and open now. Now we're gonna work on the throat chakra. The throat chakra is your mouth, your ears, your nose, your throat, your thyroid. So this area here. And this is our communication center. I'm going to use a piece of Larimar. Larimar is a beautiful natural stone that's from the Dominican. And this is a great one for the throat. This one I'm wearing is also a throat chakra. So any kind of turquoise stone, here's a Bahia blue. 
this is a Tibetan blue that I'm wearing. So I want to enhance this energy around our throat chakra. So we want to remove anything that's stopping us or blocking us. If there's any energy around this throat chakra, this is going to stop you from being able to get your word out there. So it stops you having the confidence to be able to speak up, but it also um, stops you being able to get the advertising out. So maybe you have a business, but you can't get the word out. It's not being very productive. People don't know about you. Perhaps you want to write a book and be a speaker, but you haven't been able to break through in that. Or perhaps you just want better communications and you're having a problem getting people to see you, to notice you. So this could be at work, it could be in your relationship, in your family. So I'm asking now to release any negative energy that you have in your throat chakra. If there is anything that you know about, like somebody's not allowing you to speak, could be when you're a child that happened to you, could be something that's going on right now. Usually it follows you all the way through. This is also gonna be if you've got health issues in this area of your body. So, so throat issues, thyroid issues, hearing issues, gums, teeth, this is all governed by that throat chakra. So I'm gonna ask right now, beautiful divine beings to come and release anything from the throat chakra. I'm gonna tickle in my throat. I feel like I have a runny nose right now. This is good. This is all sign that this is working. So I'm using the Larimar stone. You can use any kind of turquoise stone that resonates with this turquoise chakra. And we're asking to open up this area of your throat to expand this so that people hear you, that you can speak clearly that you can get that book written, you can be a singer, you can express yourself, whatever form of expression you're trying to do. This is allowing your advertising your business. So if you're trying to grow a business, you're trying to break into something, you can think about that coming out, that being expanded in your throat chakra. So I'm gonna to ask to remove anything that's holding you back. Anything that's a physical issue, anything that is an emotional issue, anything in your throat chakra that's negative energy that is stopping you. We want to be able to manifest. So as we talk out loud, our thoughts go out to the universe. And so we're also asking to make sure that our thoughts are good. We don't want to be saying anything negative. I can't do this. Or I don't know about that. Or we want to remove that from our vocabulary. And we're asking the beautiful divine spirits to open up that throat chakra, remove anything negative in there that is stopping us from receiving the things that we talk about, receiving the things that we're saying that we want. We're going to put that out to the universe and we see that chakra is beautiful and open. All right, so that's the throat chakra. Let's come down now to the heart chakra. The heart chakra, sometimes people use pink. That's the that's the resonance of the color of love. So you might see people use a pink crystal for love. I'm gonna use green because green is the color of the heart. So we're gonna work on the heart chakra. I'm using a Tibetan green. Um, any kind of a green crystal, green obsidian will work wonderful on the heart chakra. If you don't have a particular color, um, an overall quartz can sometimes be substituted because white has all the colors. But I'm gonna use a green one. This is a very powerful one for the heart chakra is also a great one for manifesting. All right, so I'm gonna put that over the heart. We're gonna work on our heart chakra. So what you might be storing in your heart is any area in your life of grief, pain, um, if a family member has hurt you, if you're in an argument with a friend, um, anything that's going on right now. If it's all family stuff that's gonna be later, we're gonna work on that, that's gonna be in your base chakra. So this is stuff that's going on right now could be with a brother or sister, could be um, grief that you're going through. Let's work on that heart chakra. And also to balance the heart and make sure that the head and the heart are in sync so that what, when we bring something in, when we manifest, we're manifesting from the heart chakra. So let's, let's remove any negative energy that we have around our heart. So let's remove any grief or pain that we have in our heart. And we're not saying that it's not valid. We're just saying that we know we have that grief, but we don't need to continue feeling that or having that. We want to send some love to ourselves. We want to love ourselves and forgive any people that we're in an argument with right now. So if you're not talking to a family member or if there's a friend that has hurt you and you feel betrayed, we're gonna just release that right now and just see if you can think about it from their point of view and say, okay, I understand I had this 
experience for a reason. I don't need to hold on to that. I don't need to continue having a heart. Let's ask beautiful divine beings and angels to remove anything in our heart chakra that's weighing us down and hurting us right now. So think about the things specifically for you and let's see that heart chakra opening up. It's a beautiful emerald green. Let's see it opening up bright. It comes out the front of your chest also around from the back, your uh, upper back, and makes this band of color all around you. And as you open this up, we're allowing love to come and pour into your heart. And you can also think about somebody in spirit that you love coming around. That is often the way to feel that. The more we feel love for others, the more we're opening up our heart chakra. So when people say, open your heart chakra, the best and easiest way to do it is to think about somebody we love, especially somebody in spirit. So let's just think about somebody in spirit that we love, that we've lost. And let's just say, be here with me now. And just imagine that they're here loving you and talking to you and allow that feeling of love to come in. And when that feeling of love comes in, your heart fills up and you can expand it. So loving another person or even loving an animal or somebody in your life right now, when you think about them in a, just a purely loving way, um, you're opening up your heart. So right now, think about that person, think about how much you love them, and let's have, ask to expand our heart chakra and to remove anything that is weighing that down. And just expand that and expand it, expand it, and see that energy of your heart chakra opening up. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the solar plexus. Solar plexus is uh, right here. And I'm going to use a yellow stone. I'm going to use citrine. Citrine is great for manifesting. It's known as the lucky stone. I'm going to hold that right here. You can just put your energy and attention on this area. This is our confidence area. This is our sunshine area. This is the area that we light up our life to serve our sole purpose. And so if you want to just think about that area right now of your life, how are you how are you living your soul purpose? How are you serving others? How are you seen in the universe? And let's all now open up that beautiful yellow sunshine chakra and ask to be out there living our soul purpose, to be appreciated for what we do, to see ourselves, our business flourishing, to see ourselves out there in the way that we want to be seen, the way we want to express ourselves, see ourselves living our soul purpose and being uh, rewarded with abundance for being out there and living and serving others. So I want you to see about that. These are all the things you want to manifest in your life. So see what you want for your career. And let's remove anything that's stopping that. So let's remove any energy that you might have there that's holding you back. People that told you you can't do it. Let's remove that. People that say you can't do this, you can't do that. Things that you tell yourself like, oh, that's not for me. That's not good enough. I don't have the confidence. Let's open up that chakra now, give you the confidence. Let's ask the universe that you can be seen the way you want to be seen, the way that you want to live your soul purpose. And we ask this beautiful divine energy coming out through your soul place. This is a beautiful one because this really opens up your career, removes the blocks that are stopping you from having that fantastic career. All right, so let's move on to the sacral chakra. Sacral chakra is the romance area. I'm going to use an orange crystal. This is a fire crystal from, um, from Siberia. But any kind of orange crystal that's going to resonate with that area. So your sacral chakra is your area right here. This is like two inches below your belly button. So I'm going to hold that over that area right here. And this is the area where we hold hurts and pains from especially romantic relationships. So I just want you to think about the different romantic relationships that have hurt you in the past. And this also is going to resonate with your lower back. So our chakra comes out through here and also through our lower back. Lower back is more about finances. So this area is about passion, about romance, but also about finances. So we're asking right now to release anything that's in this chakra. So this would be any hurts you've had, any cords that you've had with any romantic relationships. So mm -hmm. I think right now about any difficult times you've had, any difficult romantic relationships. Think about the times when they really hurt you and they, they did these horrible things to you and how bad you felt. And then now let's just say, let's release that. I don't need to have that anymore. I see it from their point of view. 
I know this is going to take a lot more work than this little quick thing right now, and we'll do some more tomorrow. But I want you right now just to think about that relationship and just say, I had that for a reason. I don't need to hold on to that anymore. Let's put this on your lower back and I'm just ask for you to be in the flow of abundance. So let's open up this chakra all around you, having beautiful relationships and manifesting all the abundance. So allowing yourself to have the great abundance that is yours by divine right to bring that abundance into your life and see yourself in the flow of money and release all things that are stopping you from having that, stopping you from living your dreams and having that abundance in your life. Okay, and now we're gonna to go to the base chakra. For the base chakra, I'm actually gonna use the Vogel again. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use this, this Vogel with a Bahia blue on top. So the Vogel cut is for removing negative energy. A lot of us started in that base chakra. The smoky quartz is a great base chakra color, but if you want like a deep red or a dark color, a black color, smoky is one of the best ones for removing negative energy and also resonates with that base chakra. And the reason I've put uh, this one with the Bahir on, this is also communication. A lot of in our base chakra is the difficult communication with our family, right? So your base chakra is between your legs. And I just want you to put your attention and energy on there. And what we're removing from this area, this is the dense area that we've stored negative childhood experiences. So I want you to think about the things that happened to you in your childhood. So this is your parents. This is, this is your school things that happened. Any negativity that you've got in your life that you had when you were younger. I'm just going to look at that experience and just say, I don't need to have that energy anymore. It's really holding me back. It, it doesn't matter if you would forgive those people, but it's more about forgiving and just releasing it in your own energy field. So let's just think about right now. Well, I had that experience. I don't need that experience anymore. I'm just going to release any negative energy in my base chakra. It's also going to release any extra weight on your hips and your thighs in this area of your body. Also release any health issues. So we're going to release that energy in our lower base chakras. And then just to finish off, we're just going to say we've got that beautiful white light. It's coming down through us. It is coming out through all these chakras. Our energy field is just beautiful and strong. We've removed this negative energy. It's going stronger and stronger, wider and wider and wider as it comes out and extends our aura, extends our auric field. And we'll just see that bubble of white light all around us. Now our energy is powered up and we are strong and we are ready to go out, say those positive affirmations. Think about the things that you want. Dream, dream big. That's the thing. A lot of us don't dream big enough. So go out today and now dream about the things that you want to bring into your life while your energy is strong and powerful. And this is something that you can just keep doing and just keep clearing off and get yourself out there manifesting. All right, well, I had an amazing time. I think we are uh, well, 30. I think I'm done. <laughs> I don't see Stephen yet. Stephen is another cow. Oh, there's Stephen Halper. Another okay, Halper. and I think, um, Mark, I think I'm on tomorrow, right? I'm doing a workshop tomorrow. Tomorrow, Gail's going to be doing a workshop. Uh, the workshop is at, let's see, I have it on the chat. Let me see. 6 p.m., I think you told me. 6 p.m. Uh, tomorrow at 6 p.m. And so I'm going to be going a lot deeper into some of the things that we talked about. We're going to be removing those cords. Hopefully I can take some questions live and I can work on you. I'd love to know if you guys had um, felt an experience today. So my email is office at gailthackray.com. And uh, if you send me your birthday and you have something kind of still bothering you, send me a little note, send me your birthday. I'll do a little free clearing for you. So that's office at gailthackeray.com if there's something that you still need to work on. And I hope to see you tomorrow and we'll work a lot more deeply on that. Yes. Also, Gail will be on the Strange Multiverse panel tomorrow and that is at one o'clock. So join Gail at one o'clock and then join her at six o'clock where she's going to get rid of the negative cords and make your whole life the best. Okay, gorgeous. I'll see you later. Thank you for having me. <laughs>